So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Basolo from Curval.com and today we're going to talk about Power BI audit logs. So Power BI audit logs, they give you the possibility to log everything that happens or a lot of things that happen into Power BI and it's a perfect, perfect solution for managing, for example, documentation for GDPR. So I did a video on GDPR yesterday, for you will be on Monday. And uh, you asked me if I could do a video about uh, logs, and this is what we're going to do today. So in a second, we'll get started. Okay, so Power BI logs allow you to track everything that happens into Power BI. And this is actually a functionality that is available in Office 365. So to activate it, you need to go into Office 365 and set it there. To be able to do this, you need to have an Office 365 E3 or E5 license, unfortunately. So if you have that, you will be able to have a button that says activate, and then you can just get started. I'm going to show you in a second how to actually activate everything. I have already activated, but I can show you how it looks. Once you are in there, you will be able to search activities by time, though only the last 90 days, but you can actually download the data. And you can use PowerShell, so I'm guessing that you can actually download those logs locally. And those logs are not only for Power BI, they're for all kinds of Office 365 stuff. So how about I jump into the computer and I'll show you how that works and uh, then I come back. So see you in a second. Okay, so here we are in powerbi.com and you need to be an admin to be able to do that, okay? I am an admin on this uh, tenant, so I will go to there and then you go to audit logs. You click on audit logs here and then you go to Office 365. Uh, so let's let it load. I have already enabled audit. So you will get, if I remember right, you get a, a button that says click here to activate the log and you don't have to pay anything. It's included in your E3 or E5. At least I don't get any separate villain for it. So what you will get here is results for all kinds of activities. So this is not only for Power BI. So, uh, this will allow you to track all kinds of stuff. What you are interested in here now is Power BI. So just, you know, you can search Power BI and you will see all the things that you can do. You can view dashboards, edit dashboards, shared. Uh, I mean, who view, who edit, who shared, who viewed a tile, who deleted a report. I mean, you can see absolutely everything so if you have any kind of data breach probably you will be able to track it here let's check i don't know uh, view power bi report search these are the dates that are by default which is like about a week and then uh, you will be able to see the uh, reports that i've seen you can actually um, search for users so I can search by for myself and then it will be only the results for myself, of course, or for that particular user. You need to be aware that these tracks only 90 days. Okay, so in this user interface, you have only 90 days. You can export results and you can use PowerShell, as I told you before. So probably you will be able to um, download these things regularly and save them. I don't know if you can access these historically, actually. I don't know if you have to contact Microsoft or if they delete the log, so we should definitely ask them. But you can export it information anyhow. So uh, do you, you don't need to be a Power BI admin to be able to access this. And Adam Saxon, you know, guy in a cube has a video about it, so I will not, you know, repeat his video. There's no meaning in that. I will link below to his uh, video where you can see how it shows uh, how you can get a link and you know access the audit logs without being a Power BI admin. Okay, so now you know how auditing 
works. If you want to know more about GDPR, again, I have a, week, a video that I did on Monday. You can check that. If you want to know more about data security in Power BI, I made a video last week. So you can go and check that out. We talked about how data is stored and secure when you are using powerbi.com. Okay, so you, you are set. You will have a lot of material in there. But um, yeah, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any additional questions and I'll see you again on Friday. Take care. Bye.